Hey, what's up everyone? It's Neo here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you how to add two additional soft keys to your navigation bar, which is right down here. Right now you have the back function, home, and recent. I'm going to show you how to add menu and search. Now what this will do is when you're within an application, let's say Chrome, and you hit the search soft key, it'll automatically activate the search bar. And if you hit the menu button, it'll bring down that little drop down menu or little three dot menu you see on the typically on the top right or top left of applications so I'll give you a little preview later but that's just a little rundown now um, to do this you will need a rooted Nexus 7 and you will need expose framework running so to learn how to do to learn how to do those two things I have two links within the article and it's uh it's pretty easy and you'll be getting ready to do this in no time so let's go ahead and show you how to do this after you get exposed so you're rooted and you got exposed go within exposed and you're just gonna go to download hit search and start typing Xperia and then once you do that you'll see it already it's Xperia slash AOSP navbar buttons you're gonna tap on that you hit download and install. Now, once it's done installing, you're not gonna, you're just gonna hit done. You're not gonna go to um, to uh, open. Then you're gonna come back to expose and make sure you go to the little drop down. Make sure you go to the um, module section and search. And it's right down here. It's uh, oops. It's right down here. It's Xperia AOSP navbar buttons. Check it. Then go back up here to the drop down. Go to framework and do a soft reboot. Now when your device reboots it will actually uh, enable the mod. Now to make adjustments and actually start adding the uh, soft keys go within the interface of the mod which is located in your app drawer in Xperia so it should be in the last page. So let's start making our changes. Now while you make changes it will actually give you a preview right down here above your nav navigation bar. As you can see it looks like I have two navigation bars. The one on top is the preview one. So you see it change right now when I add show menu and show search. So now I have this little little magnifying glass and I have this little whatever menu button. Now if you don't like how it is because I like my home button in the middle you can actually reorder them with the reorder setting. Now put home in the middle and I want menu on this side. Let's put recent back where it goes. So I like it like that. Let's go back and you can see my new setup, how it's going to look. Now another cool uh, little addition with this mod is you can select a theme. You can actually theme your uh, navigation bar. Now if you have the regular stock style, you can actually choose from all these colors. Let's see if it actually shows it. Yeah, you can choose red. Um, this is the only one that has a bunch of different colors. All the other ones just have blue and white. So you got the Facebook one. Let's just do Facebook one. Let's do it blue. Now I go back. Now to apply these changes, I just need to reboot my device. So I'm going to reboot it, and once it starts back up, I'm going to show you how to use it and how it looks. All right, so take a look. I have back. I have um, the menu. I have home. I have um, recent, and I have... Sorry, this is search and recent. Now, this one's a little weird looking, but you'll get used to it, whichever one you pick. Um, so let's show you how it works. When you're on the home screen, if you hit search, it'll actually activate the Google search bar, if you have that widget up top. Now, if you hit the menu, it'll actually bring up your homepage menu. It'll bring up the wallpaper slash widget settings. Now, let's go within Chrome. Now, I want to do a quick search. Tap, uh, tap the search icon, you can start typing, and if you want to bring down the menus, which is up here, you just hit the menu, and there you go. It's that easy. Uh, definitely check out the full article on Nexus 7 Soft Modder. It's, uh, it's a pretty nifty little mod, and there's also links out to um, rooting and getting exposed framework, so you'll be uh, adjusting your soft keys in no time. So don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.